Oh look, Obito's grabbing the Hokage's nuts. Nah, he's just bursting out of the barrier. Hello. Sorry I'm late, but the chapters were out early anyway, and I got other stuff, you know, to deal with, aside from doing chapter reviews, believe it or not. So here we go. I never thought I'd live to see the day when Hashirama Senju, founder of the Leaf Village, would state that Obito Uchiha was actually more powerful than him. Damn. <laughs> Man, when I read that, I, I kind of, yeah, I got depressed. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty depressing. And look, listen, the Hokages had to be outclassed anyway, okay? Why? Because Naruto has to be the hero of the story. So it makes no sense for the Hokages to come back and just, you know, automatically solve everything with their OP-ness, uh, overpoweredness. Don't get it twisted. And, and, and I don't have a problem with that, you know? I knew they were going to be outclassed eventually. My problem is... Why did it have to be Obito? Why couldn't they get outclassed by somebody like Madara or uh, Orochimaru? Fuck, even Sabusa would have been a better choice. No, fuck, even Haku would have been a better choice than Obito. At this point, I don't even know if he's all there anymore because there's this part where Minato calls him by his name. He's like, okay, that's enough, Obito. And he turns around and he's like, Obito? Like on some Scooby-Doo shit. Then again, he was already crazy to begin with. And if... If the Juby is sort of taken over, and that means that we don't get any more Rin flashbacks, thumbs up, because, yeah, that, that's an upgrade in my in my book. Um, I know a lot of you guys want me to start calling him Jubito, or Jubito, whatever the hell, and I thought about it, but to me, if I start doing that, it feels like I'm making fun of Jewish people. Anyway, Hinata tells the story of how the absorption took place, which is something that we should have assumed from the last chapter, that, you know... You know, Obito's body just went into the juvie, got absorbed, and then it, it combined. Then Naruto tells his BF that he noticed that the hand seals that Obito was performing uh, were different than the ones that Nagato did to revive everybody in the Leaf Village. So he automatically knew that Obito was not performing the Rinne Tensei. He was performing the, the Jutsu to become the Ten Tails Jinchuriki from the get-go. Now, this is a fuck-up. I'm going to tell you why. If Obito was never performing the resurrection jutsu, if his plan and what he did with those hand seals, according to Naruto, was perform the jutsu to become a jinchuriki, then why did we see Madara, last chapter, covered in chakra, as if he were, were about to get revived, plus his Edo Tensei cracks were, were fading away, as if he were to become mortal again? Why did we see that? There was this really cool scene, a part of the chapter, where we saw Obito levitating, you know, his back looking like a stegosaurus with all those spikes and stuff. And we saw the pattern on his back, the pattern used on the cloak of the Sage of the Six Paths. And that, that looked pretty cool to me. And I was like, well, I wonder if his face changed, you know? Did he have, like, I mean, those are the, the, the back changes, but what about the, the frontal changes? He turns around and I'm like, oh, he looks like a Zetsu on crack. Pretty much. Long story short, Obito messes up the, the Hokage barrier and the Hashirama wooden gates. That's out of the picture. And uh, yeah, plain and simple. And then the clones for Tobirama and Hashirama go poof, poof. They disappear, which means they can't hold their clones because Obito's so OP. Thankfully, according to the Ox, that is not the Juby's final form, uh, which is scary because, I mean, right now, I think the purpose of, of having a Jinchuriki for the Tentails is that Obito is now able to focus all of the random-ass power-ups that the Jubi was doing. You remember all those storms and fucking tornadoes that came out of nowhere that did absolutely nothing because Naruto protected everybody? Well, now I think Obito is able to take that power and just channel it and focus it. I think it's pretty logical to assume that we're going to be seeing some dead ninjas pretty soon. Not the Edo Tensei. Haha, <laughs> very funny. And again, a question for the Jubi's final form is whether or not it would be truly complete without Kurama's and the Ox's chakra. Because it doesn't have, I know it has like a bit of each, right? Uh, a bit of, a, you know, the, the Kaku brothers and then the tentacle that Sasuke brought home, but come on. The best part of this chapter, for me personally, was the fact that Madara finally got off of his ass. What do you think his trump card is? I think it's Infinite Tsukuyomi. But it's so weird because at this point, I don't even know what Madara cares about anymore. It's been so ridiculous. I'm really putting a lot of faith in Madara at this point in the story. And we kind of knew that he had something up his sleeve, right? Because last chapter, he was really calm when Obito suddenly became the Jinchuriki. He was just like, 
Meh. Time to get my nails done. I'm just waiting for him to commandeer the shit out of this war to just, just bring it up a notch. Um, there's this technique in writing called show, don't tell. Like, you, you, you show your reader something, you don't tell them about it. And so I, I was kind of disappointed in the fact that Hashiyama said, Oh, Obito's definitely more powerful than I am. And I'm like, don't tell me that. Show me. Show Obito doing something. And so I'm, I was really glad that by the end, Obito did do something to Tobirama and Hashirama. He took, like, these bijou bomb fans or something and just completely, you know, just, just annihilated part of their bodies. It was like, whoa. Uh, but th they can regenerate, right? Because they're Edo Tensei, I think. I hope. Because it'd be kind of lame if, like, next week Obito reveals that this new technique that he used to attack Tobirama and Hashirama is, like, once it touches you, you're automatically sealed forever or some stupid shit. Um, like Orochimaru, like he was supposed to be sealed, remember that, with Itachi, came back out of Kabuto's shoulder? But that's Naruto, just breaking the rules of fictional logic one chapter at a time. Overall, if I were to give this chapter a rating, I'd say, yeah, I I'm gonna go with, it was like a Zetsu on crack. Comment, rate, subscribe. Catch you guys later.